This video will be about, um, um, it's more educational, um, and, and how not to, uh, how, how you have to know your products, even though this guy calls himself an expert plumber. Um, the, uh, um, um, an expert plumber, you're going to see him use PEX within 18 inches of placing a 40 gallon little boy show you some of the things uh because uh we are going to be using pex piping we've got our three-quarter hand crampers a pipe up. wrench our place the water heater door we'll also be taking this way uh so you know this is a big so um we are going to get our dielectrics on and actually get uh the pecs on to use these as handles. This way, uh, it's a, you know, this is a big bulky water heater. This way, we, we can have a little bit more leverage. We're going to be tipping this on its sides that uh, have a plastic. So once you've got uh, the electricity turned on, instead of the since this valve, uh, yeah, you're going to do something critical: proper piping for the. It's a very easy uh, way to burn down your house. Uh, was blowing off. You can, in order to get in. So here we see his his pecs within 18 inches. And here's his pecs. Pecs connections. Uh, then we've got our thermal expansion tank in the back um, on a nice, beautiful pad. We had to install our uh, new disconnect here. Uh, because there's no line of sight uh, when we'll disconnect just so that somebody inside the house won't. This is actually, uh, if you saw earlier in my video, my son's uh, Michael's first water heater that he installed, 99% himself. Several measurements. Uh, first, we're going to measure to the top of the water pipes, and then we're also going to measure all the way up to the floor joists to ensure that we, our new water heater is out of the way before where this area is crowded with the water heater and over to uh, PEX because uh, we are professionals. Uh, PEX. Now, if you're a homeowner, I recommend we've also installed our new uh, ball valve and prepared uh, our copper piping for the conversion over to uh, PEX. Now, if you're a homeowner, I recommend that you use non-sweat connectors. We use sweat because uh, we are professionals. Uh, but uh, for homeowners in a crawl space like this, you probably don't want to be waving a torch around. It's a very easy uh, way to burn down your house. Uh, so uh, they make quick connects that are solderless that uh, work fine for homeowners. But uh, this is the professional way to do it. Okay, so we and so in actually got a, it's not the professional way. Our uh, water heater in place. Uh, we have our TMP pipe uh, going down. This is there so that uh, if the temperature and pressure relief uh, was blowing off, you can try and uh, adjust it here without being scalded. Um, now this particular now here's his PEX connections right here and here. Now this is electrical appears. But this is the uh, his parts coming out pecs. He comes out, comes over, drops down, goes over, shut off valve, and it goes back up. This is like wacky, weird looking. Anyway, there's his pecs, his uh, fancy pecs design. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I guess he had a bunch of nineties to get rid of, but he had. Uh, yeah, this is just wacky. So anyway, um, here's his pecs here also. And this appears to be part of this line here, the shutoff valve. Um, so that more than likely would be the supply. Uh, yeah, PEX. Okay, let's talk about that. PEX, and you're not supposed to use it within 18 inches. Let me pull up this, pull it up for you right here. This, this rule right here. 604.11.2. This is this is direct from uh, the PEX manufacturer stating this. Um, it's based on the Uniform Plumbing Code. Okay, so what uniform plumbing code is that? Let me get you, let me see if I can drop it down for you. There's a site right there, right here. 
and let me push that back up for you. So that's your uniform plumbing code that covers uh, PECs and um, not within 18 inches. It's, it's a national code. It's been, you know, every, everyone knows you don't go within 18 inches with these PECs. But this guy appears not, not, to, uh, not to care about that. So there you have it. Um, and so it's just a quick bite showing you, uh, you know, even these plumbers that claim to be experts uh, obviously don't, are not up to speed or they don't do the research or they don't care. Um, they don't research their own product. If he's using PEX, he should have known that. PEX doesn't even recommend. It does not, it says it must, not, not must, shall not, shall not, not maybe, should not, it shall not. So there you go. One install done incorrectly as per the manufacturer's product and national code. Unless he lives somewhere in another country, which I believe he does not. He lives in the southern United States.